Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, we have an exponential equation. And to solve this equation, we must begin by taking log of both sides of the equation. Now, since we are already working in base 10, we are going to take log to base 10 of both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have that log x to the power 3 minus log x over 3 is equal to log 900. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule of logarithms. That is that rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have that 3 minus log x over 3 multiplied by log x is equal to log 900. Now let us expand this left hand side. We have 3 times log x and of course that is 3 log x and we have log x over 3 times log x that is log x multiplied by log x over 3 and of course this still remains equal to log 900 now let us look at this term and let us remember that when we have log a over b that we can also write this as log a minus log b so that means that we can also write this left hand side as 3 log x minus log x that is this multiplied by we now break this down into log x minus log 3 log x minus log 3 and of course everything is still equal to log 900 once more let us expand this left hand side when we do that we still have 3 log x here minus log x times log x is going to give us minus log squared x and minus log x times minus log 3 is going to give us plus log 3 multiplied by log x and this is equal to log 900 notice that we have 3 log x here and here we have log 3 log x we can combine the two terms when we do that we have 3 plus log 3 multiplied by log x that is 3 plus log 3 multiplied by log x and we still have minus log squared x and this is equal to log 900 and now let us look at this right hand side let us see if we can simplify log 900 we know that 900 is equal to 100 multiplied by 9. And of course, we also know that when we have log A multiplied by B, this is equal to log A plus log B. So that means that we can write this right-hand side as log 100 plus log 9. But we also know that 100 is 10 squared and 9 is 3 squared. Now look at this. Remember that this is log to base 10 of 10 to the power 2. And recall that when we have log to base a of a to the power b, that this is simply equal to b. So this is simply equal to 2. And when we apply the power rule here, we can write this as 2. That is this exponent times log 3. So we have that log 900 is equal to 2 plus 2 log 3. 
And with this simplification, we can now write this equation as 3 plus log 3 multiplied by log x minus log squared x is equal to 2 plus 2 log 3. We have log 3 here and we have log 3 here. Log 3 is a constant. We have log x and we have log x all squared. So, let log x be equal to u, u for unknown, and log 3 be equal to k, k for constant. With this substitution, we can write this equation as 3 plus k multiplied by u minus u squared is equal to 2 plus 2k. And rearranging this equation, taking all these terms on the left-hand side over to the right-hand side, we have 0 left on the left-hand side, and we have u squared minus 3 plus k multiplied by u plus 2 plus 2k. Now, when you look at this equation, you will see that this is simply a quadratic equation in U. And we can solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So we have that U12 is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Where a is equal to the coefficient of u squared, which in this case is 1. B is equal to the coefficient of u, which in this case is minus 3 plus k. And of course, c is the constant term, which is equal to 2 plus 2 k. Substituting these values into this equation, we have that u is equal to minus, minus 3 plus k, and that is plus 3 plus k, plus or minus b squared is minus 3 plus k squared, which is the same as 3 plus k squared, minus 4. A, of course, is equal to 1 times C, which is 2 plus 2K, divided by 2 times A, that is 2 times 1, which is 2. And expanding this, we have 3 plus K, plus or minus 3 squared is 9, plus 2 times 3 times k is 6k plus k squared minus 4 times 2 is 8 and minus 4 times 2k is minus 8k divided by 2. From here we have 3 plus k plus or minus 9 minus 8 is 1. 6k minus 8k is minus 2k. And of course we have plus k squared divided by 2. From here we have 3 plus k plus or minus. Can we factorize this? That is 1 minus 2k plus k squared. Of course we can. Because we know that we simply have to find factors of plus 1 that add up to minus 2. And of course that is minus 1 and minus 1. Because minus 1 times minus 1 is going to give us plus 1. And 
minus 1 plus minus 1 is going to give us minus 2. So we know that we can factorize this as k minus 1 multiplied by k minus 1. And of course, everything is still divided by 2. And of course, you can already notice that this is k minus 1 squared. So we have 3 plus k plus or minus k minus 1 squared divided by 2. The square is going to take care of the square root, leaving us with u equal to 3 plus k plus or minus k minus 1 divided by 2. And opening the bracket, we have that u is equal to 3 plus k plus k minus 1 over 2. Or 3 plus k minus k. Minus minus is plus 1 over 2. 3 plus k plus k minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So this is 2. k plus k is 2k divided by 2. Or k minus k is 0. 3 plus 1 is 4 divided by 2. So ultimately we have that u is equal to 1 plus k or 2. And of course, let us remember that u is equal to log x and k is equal to log 3. So in this case, we have that log x is equal to 1 plus log 3. And in this case, we have that log x is equal to 2. Here we have log x is equal to, since we are working in base 10, you know that 1 can be written as log 10 plus log 3. And of course, when we have plus, the right hand side is simply equal to log 10 multiplied by 3, which is equal to log 30. Now, log x is equal to log 30. So that simply means that x is equal to 30. Now, in this case, remember that when you have a statement like this, it simply means that 10 to the power 2 is equal to x. So we have that x is equal to 10 to the power 2, which is equal to 100. So we have two values for x that apparently satisfy this exponential equation x equal to 30 and x equal to 100. Now let us check the results and see whether they actually satisfy the exponential equation. When x is equal to 30, this equation becomes 30 to the power 3 minus log 30 over 3. This is 30 to the power 3 minus log 30 over 3 is 10. This is 30 to the power 3 minus log 10, of course, is equal to 1. This is 30 to the power 3 minus 1, which is 2. And of course, we know that 30 squared is equal to 900. And when x is equal to 100, this equation becomes 100 to the power 3 minus log 100 over 3. This can be written as 100 to the power 3 minus log. Remember that when we have a quotient, this is log 100 minus log 3. 
This is the same as 100 to the power 3 minus log 100 minus minus is plus log 3. And of course, we know that log 100 is 2. So this is the same as 100 to the power 3 minus 2 plus log 3. This is 100, 3 minus 2 is 1 plus log 3. Of course, you know that this is the same as 100 to the power 1 multiplied by 100 to the power log 3. Because you remember the law of exponents that says that a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. In this case, obviously, a is 100, m is 1, and n is log 3. So when these two multiply, we have m plus n, which is 1 plus log 3. Now we have 100 to the power 1, which is 100, multiplied by 100 is 10 squared raised to power log 3. This is the same as 100 multiplied by, you know that when we have two powers like this, we can switch the places. So this can also be written as 10 to the power log 3 squared. This is 100 multiplied by, remember this is 10 to the power log to base 10 of 3. And you know that a to the power log to base a of b is simply equal to b. So this is simply equal to 3. And we have squared. So this is the same as 100 multiplied by 9. And 100 times 9 is equal to 900. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.